All right. Well, we so, officially so hit the top it's, of it's the so hour. Good. I, I have just opened up my Microsoft Word file. This is uh, from uh, XP, which is the 1997 edition of Microsoft Works Word Processor. Um, and it still works after all these. See, 97 to 24. It's 27 fucking years old. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. And why did I just minimize the lyrics? I need this shit. All right. I okay. Don't I don't know. But um, <laughs> so, yeah. Here we it's, are. Uh, yeah. Well, we always, we got a time stamp it at the beginning because, of course, you were on a roll. So I, I didn't want to. Yeah stop you and tell you that I had hit the record button already. So but we Next, hit the top of the hour a while ago. Next and, best uh, thing to a tramp stamp is a time stamp. And they go. go hand in hand. That's right. Time stamp on the wrist, tramp stamp right above the love yeah. canal. There you go. April 25th in the year of our clownishness 2024 ladies and gentlemen episode 23 of Get Fact Harder with Major High Yona and myself, the Lieutenant Colonel. Yeah. How's everybody doing out there in COVID land? You know, all right, let's just, let's, let's get into this since we're at the beginning of the show. I was thinking about this today, right? And it seems to me like it's a good idea if we just don't do like an intro segment media piece at all. Like, we just don't do it. Like, we don't waste people's fucking time with it, right? Like, we're down to business for two solid fucking hours, right? We don't don't have time for this overproduced, self-aggrandizing fucking ego stroke fest, right? We got serious fucking business to do here. So I figure it would make us really distinctive and separate us from the crowd. And we have to be adamant about it. We have to be angry. No, we can't have a fucking intro. Because we don't have an intro. I was supposed to make an intro song. And I that was months ago. That was months ago. I gave up on that months ago, man. It's still just half done, like about 30 other things. Like the Godzilla remix from Blue Oyster Cole and... Like, hopefully, fingers crossed, the Radiohead remix that I started on, hopefully that doesn't end up like um, everyone's favorite theme song intro, the Get Packed Harder intro, which, um, well, in fact, only I've heard because um, it's not done. But you know what? Instead of making a mental note, that's right, Blue's Clues fan, I'll put it in my notebook. Oh, you have a red book. Oh, Holy shit! Funny. Editing thing. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I didn't. I didn't realize you were that serious about it. I don't even have a red book. I mean, I have red books, but not ones. Well, I mark them up, but other people have already written in them. Although I, I do abbreviate. So you know, finish G T W L R G F H theme, which is what the file name is. That's a lot of acronyms, isn't it? Yeah. Like that's a bit excessive. Saying Grand Theft World Liberty Radio get back harder. That's a lot of syllables, man. Just trying to concatenate as much as possible. That's all that's, it is. That's a lot of effort. <laughs> GTWLRGFHD. See? A lot faster. Rolls right off the tongue. And, and, and right into the ears. Just, just you wait. I don't know. But what do you think about my idea? Like, am I, am I just way off in the left field wandering around, like, fucking chasing butterflies or... Fuck, fuck an intro, just jump right in. That's right. Two straight hours of in your ear hole. Yeah. Fact that, up. Well, it's not get fact easy. It's get fact harder. That's what I'm saying. If it was get fact easy, we would, you know, we would fade in. You know, we would ease into things. You're not just going to jump straight to the mezcal and the tequila, man. We you know, ain't got time for that. With some, you, you know, you're going to throw in, you know, at least have a Modelo or something. Fuck, man. Slow down. But here, it's hit the ground running, buddy. I mean, when, when, when you tune in to Get Back Harder, 
It's like one of those freight trains going down. And, and you know what I'm saying? You're running next to the fucking track. And you're going to just jump right on and grab the side of that fucking box car. Horse yourself in like fucking Hobo Harry. There you go. Enjoy the ride, folks. About to put another log in the fucking boiler here and get this train a-chugging down the road. But, uh, you know, I had planned to do a little live number here because I realized... Already? We're not even five minutes in yet. Oh, I'm just We're just angry. five minutes in. I'm, I'm really angry. I've got a vent. You know what I'm saying? There, there's... Everywhere I turn, because I, I do this whole medical thing today, and everywhere I look. Right, right, right. I How'd turn, that go? Everything good? Oh, we're A-OK. Uh, nice. Just a piece of flesh. Um, Uh-oh. How do you, is, I think it's with the silent G, but Beniner? It's a Beniner. Gotcha. You don't benign, pronounce. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you don't pronounce the G. Right. Otherwise, it would be, <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Exactly. It, it's a silent G, trust me. 2024. But very, very much there. Now, I mean, um, it's called spelling. That's how you win the B, son. Learn, learn the weird words in the English. Um, well, that's good. That's good news. Well, you know, everywhere I see, I look, I see the, the Merck and the GSK, which is the big super conglomerate of Glaxo, Wellcome with Smith, Klein, Beecham, which was already a just, the big international pharmaceutical drug cartel. So anyways, right. Yeah, you know, I was going to do, cause it, you know, we've got our thumbnail. I'm thinking pride. Every time I'm always thinking, I look at the thumbnail. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to stick the script and then it's going to come in with this nice bubbly Alka-Seltzer fucking effervescence of jazz, you know, which I'll give you just a little taste, you know? Uh Oh, that, that I was going to say taste. all that shit leaves my head. Once I start, uh, hitting the bull yeah it's yeah. Just gone yeah all those I, great I, ideas i had they're just gone i was like you know what i'm gonna jump on here i'm gonna do the fucking you know i'd be like oh yeah you know and get all like doodly jazzy i don't know if you were picking that up or not that yeah, was yeah it was coming through all right. <laughs> but that's Apex, you know. Boots off again. Sheets to the wind. Such cost have I lost. My only constant friend. Um, but no, we're not doing that now. We're not doing that. Instead. All right. Well, why, why are you so angry? What's got you angry? Why are you worked up? Because we got a copyright strike. We on did. the previous episode for Yona Aniwodi, yeah. a.k.a. DJ Hi Yona, a.k.a. Major Hi Yona, a.k.a. El Corresponsal. Um, and, man, that's a lot of fucking sober K's yeah. and well, aliases. Last I, week, I didn't even go through all my pen names. But yeah, last week's we got episode. got a copyright strike. Yeah, Get Fact Harder, episode number 22. Uh, it was so egregious. That not only did YouTube tell me when I uploaded the video footage the next morning, they also decided that they needed to send an email about it as well. That that is how bad of an infraction it was. That's right. And 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 it and named the copyright strike for World War Three. Yes. Well, it, it was. was I'm hmm. I don't remember if it actually had those exact words in the email or not, but the copyright strike was for the music yeah. that was in the episode. And the only music that was played in that episode was, was that I song. Played, I played, played it, it live. live and and then at we the end of the, the show. Video version. Right. And the live version was live. And the studio version, I licensed through my studio and my label, DeConaghisti Records. And I'm the right. copyright holder of that song. So surely there's a way to appeal and say well, I that did. You know, I did my actually appeal it. It's actually the yeah. uh, creator and copyright holder. To the yeah, song. I, I, I responded. I, I did say in that stream, hey, this is one of the few songs I've actually copyrighted before That's right. I even fucking played it. That's Swear right. God. Yeah, Roll and I did, I did <laughs> contact the team at YouTube. 
and let them know that we did have permission from the copyright owner of the song <laughs> and that they could be assured of that because the copyright owner is the fucking co-host of the show, YouTube. Yeah. Way and to I fucking even go. Played, I even played that same geniuses, fucking song Geniuses. Fucking geniuses live. at YouTube. <laughs> Played the same fucking song live on the show before playing the fucking studio version. So you can even bear if you need to verify, is this really the guy that did the song? There you go. I'm what more proof? Dude, did we you live in the dumbest in a, of all t possible timelines. It's when it fucking comes to ridiculous. Fighting this copyright strike, buddy. We got to go all the way to the YouTube Supreme Court, man. There's never been a better case. Prove our point. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The bat phone speaks. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I think I know that notification tone. Do you have T Mobile? Uh, this is a uh, Walmart straight talk. LG straight mobile. talk. All right. All right. All right. I read my message because I said I would keep it on. Um, and fuck it. I'll keep it on. You know, it's fine. There you go. Do what you want, uh, man. It's all right, fucking so Liberty give Radio. Just one second, because uh, let me get these two. My constant friend here. Just one second. Right on. Not a problem. I'll stall for you. I'm not going to change the screen though, so we get to watch him leave the room, and then we also get to watch him re-enter the room and get situated, because uh, that's that's how it works when you don't set this stuff up beforehand. And the only way that Yona will know that we're talking about him while he's gone is if he watches the replay, which he's probably not going to do. So, yeah. All right. Sorry that was awesome. That. that was quick. I was actually able to fill the entire uh, time that, that you were off camera, or at least away from the microphone and unable to entertain America. Well, you see, um, uh, I think they're making a taco run. Oh, sweet. Nice. You know, making a taco run. And so send and some down to the Piney Woods if you can. Now, I, I we ate at a place earlier today up in beautiful um, Franklin County, Ohio, home to Ohio's capital city um, named after uh, Columbus. Anyways, uh, the restaurant oh, I want to yeah. say was um, El Vaquero. Or as a, a gringo would say, the buckaroo, um, yeah. vaquero, which mean, literally means cowboy yeah. um, in Castellano, Espanol. Anyway, si, uh, senor. Man, they had. It, I honestly, I got to go to Yelp. I got to go to their page. I got to just rave about this. Place. I'm raving about it now, right now. Yeah. Fucking seven out of seven marijuana leaves from the high yon at this. That place. good. The horchata tasted like I was in fucking Chiapas with the fucking Zapatistas. I don't even know what that is. Bandanas. Down on the Mexican-Guatemalan border within the autonomous region of Mexico where the federales aren't even allowed in because they no, have I their mean own. I mean the, the food that you rebels. named. I have, oh, I have no clue horchata. what that is. Horchata. Horchata. Like you've that? never heard Marty B in that song talk about hot like spicy like horchata. Spicy like horchata. Horchata, it's like, it looks like what, a white, milky drink. It's poured on like a What a were you ice. smoking when you cinnamon. thought I might be listening to Cardi B? Is that PCP? You, you mean you don't... Oh, come on. Don't tell me you've never jammed that wet-ass pussy. No, I can honestly say I've never played that song. What about... I don't own that red? song. I have no interest in red? owning that my song. My booty hole brown, my pussy... My pussy pink, my booty no. hole brown, pound no. town, pound town. No, no, because I understand how music works. Uh, yeah, it's it's like, you know, programming. Well, so you have to be not? very I, careful what you repetitively put into your ear holes. I understand this concept. We're going to try to do this right. You know what? Uh -oh. I, I actually have to turn the keyboard this way anyways. Yeah, we're going to have to lose the hat. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't scripted. 
It's I not that makeup, kind of show. I had a makeup intern. He didn't show up. A fucking roadie intern. He didn't show up. They keep crying about the fact that they're not being paid. Pussies. Well, that might be why they're not showing up, Yona. Yeah. Oh, well, how are you going to learn the trade? Well, so, uh, you have a point. You, know, you want your foot in the door? You want your foot in the music business or not? First thing you got to learn music business is how to starve. I'm going to get you on a fasting diet. And then you won't need money to eat, so take more notes. Okay. So. Well, you know, the, uh, the value for value system, that is a vow of poverty. Yeah. It, it truly is. Ask Steve Poikin it. Yeah. Oh, God. Steve. And the truck and this. And, oh, thank God he's got him a good point. I think uh, I've figured it out, me. too. I think I finally figured it out. Oh, but I don't want to do it like that because then the arm will be right in the middle of the lyrics that I'm trying to fucking read. Um, and but for those uh, watching on the Odyssey, you will note that the entire lyrics to the song are in the chat. That's a first. That's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? You can sing along at home if you want while, while you drink and do drugs with us or just, you know, educate yourself and get back so hard. That's right. To find out you know, more. I hear, I hear a lot of around. people. Yeah, I hear a lot of people badmouth Odyssey. And it, it really, it hurts my heart to, to hear people talk bad about that platform because they do so much yeah. for the people who actually publish on it. And they really don't get a whole lot of attention in the media and in terms space. Of, uh, audio and video quality, particularly the audio quality. Dude, audio the and video quality. They give you a free RSS that you can use to distribute your content on yeah. basically any other platform. You know, any type of file, MP3, MP4, shoot it on up there, man. They'll give it a shot. Yep. It's like uh, and absolutely no censorship um, at all. At it's all. Like, it's like bit shoot but without the revolver and the cocaine. You know what I'm saying? That that is an appropriate analogy, yes. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of revolver and cocaine, um without further ado, this song is called Quarantine Dream. Um, and, uh, it is not brought to you by Pfizer. <laughs> All right. So, fuck the jazz. Yeah. Careful, fuck TikTok it, might get angry at us again. Copyright, right? Oh, I'm probably not allowed to say fuck it either. Yeah, but it's barely picking up you. Oh, I haven't sung yet. Well, yeah, but when you, when you were talking into it just then, uh, like it wasn't it wasn't getting you too good. It was getting the piano fine. Hmm. Maybe I should do one of the lines, and then we'll see. All right, we'll try that. Hmm. With more compliance and scary. Oh, that's loud as hell. So it is picking up Oh yeah. Yeah, it's picking it up. Oh yeah. We need to figure out how to get you a monitor. Yeah. 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 I would know if I'm, uh, so that you can my... you can hear yourself. You yeah, need a reference. When I don't see the bus and I don't see if I'm into the oranges and reds, and I don't know if I'm anyway. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. We ball. We do it by ear. So here it is. That's right. Team drink.
That was good. Oh wait, I want to get that. <clears throat> I need to move the keyboard. Do what? You're gonna have to get up on that mic, man. Like your level is super low when you're just talking. Uh yeah, it's because it wasn't next to my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't make a difference. Because like I was like, because like people want I got to dumb. hear your voice, man. This is not I, I, me I, saying this. This is America. America wants to hear you. And I probably some that. other countries in the world, too. Like, I think oh, yeah. uh, Israel checks in every now and then. Ukraine, I saw uh, a couple of weeks back, popped in to see what was going on. You know, we go, and, and we go we worldwide. Always, we always mention Ukraine in every single show. Do we? We just did again. Moving on. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I know. I, we'll, we'll get back to Ukraine, maybe, eventually. Um, anyways, see, so yeah, I just mentioned it again. We mentioned it twice this show. Um, in other news... Uh, Say it three times and Zelensky appears. That's right. <laughs> Poof, and a big cloud of <laughs> Asking for powder. money and cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the money. <laughs> the pianist played the... The pianist played peanuts <laughs> with his fill in the blank. Um, anyways, or was it the Haba Nagila? Yeah, or it was Haba Nagila. Yeah. And I got to that, be. That wonderful uh, traditional song. Yeah. Well, I, I don't even know. See, I, I don't even know where that whole Ford T3 thing came from. Like, I did that song March 31st, 2021. So that's over three years old. I hadn't even planned to play it. I didn't even know if I had the lyrics written down, but uh, it worked out. Worked you out. did find anyway. them. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to but Word 97. Good. Thank you, Word 97. That's right. 27 Shout out years clipping. old and still working. I've even still got the little emoji on. The screen there from the uh, Ask Jeeves with the little, um, the cute little paper clip, the paper clip with the eyeballs. It's nice. Yeah, Clippy. It's very, it's very I said right. shout out Clippy. Yeah, Clippy. but you were talking That's over it. me. No, no, I heard you. Yeah, I I didn't know his name was Clippy. Well, RBL says he could hear the vocals, so uh, that I oh, guess right. that closes the case. That's good. I, I normally sing the. The verse vocal is in a lower octave, but uh, not that time. Anyways. But now I can clip out that song. This is great, man. Yeah. Just And, and I just I tried to make it short. So I think that song, when I actually did the, from start to, after I said, okay, fuck it, here we go, boom. I think it's start to finish maybe about two and a half minutes. 
Maybe. Yeah, it wasn't more than three minutes. Yeah. It's yeah, it one definitely... of your shorter ones. It's the three minute song from the High Yona, ladies and gentlemen, is incredibly rare. Yeah. Usually it's well, more like five, six minutes. There's actually Often three verses. Seven. Yeah. There's three verses to that song. I just did the two verses from the original. Ah, I got you. So you just made There's, it modular. Uh, because that's the, the originally the song just had those two verses. Well, in the beginning, there was just one verse. And then finally, like two weeks later, I wrote the second verse about roll up your sleeves and, you know, you know take your cures. Um, and then, I don't know, about two months later, uh, I think night I took some mushrooms um, and ended up doing a third verse. Um, which I've never recorded. So that's, yeah, you can't even, there, there is no recording of me playing the mushroom verse. You know, because... Uh, we should fix that. And, yeah. It, again, there, there are so many bits and pieces around here, and now at the top of my to-do list in my red book that I'm not going to just... Somewhere around forget. Okay. You just had it a minute ago. All right, let's put this back where it belongs, right above the weed. Nice. Speaking of weed, yeah, uh, this is your uh, this is your cue, everyone, to smoke more of the weeds. Uh, it's currently twenty two hours and twenty seven minutes um, in the land of the big white phallus overlooking a reflecting pool. Yes, the. Uh, octogenarian festival known as the district of criminals uh, um, or as we say around here locally washington city yin's going up washington city buddy yep i got business up in washington washington or washington you know whatever out of town yeah it, it'll always Randy. be the district to me it'll never be anything else <laughs> I mean, it was and, it was over my fucking shoulder for what forty years of my life. Yeah, I mean, I you know I can remember going back, and we've been back so many times, and you know, because I'm I'm a Nova native, you know, and go back over there and to Falls Church and be in and be like, oh, so where are you all at? Uh, oh well, we used to be in PG. We moved down to the district. Oh yeah, y'all Northwest. No. Northeast? Uh uh. Southeast. Dude. Southeast. Oh, yeah. My God. Boy, the rent must be really cheap, though. Oh, yeah. It's a real bargain. Yep. <laughs> I figure Anacostia. God damn it. You got, I hope you got good security. I'm kind of worried about you. Got bars you on should really windows, move yeah. back to PG. That's good. You should yeah. really move back to PG. So. Anyway. Yeah, for those there was know, a time when PG County was an upgrade from Southeast. You're right. You are absolutely yeah. right. It's yeah. not that way anymore. <laughs> it, is, uh, it has changed considerably. Uh, shout out to uh, Backwoods Sweetie out there in PG County. <laughs> Did they ever get that purple line done, connected up the metro lines? No, I have no fucking clue. I'm not going to investigate it either because I don't fucking care. There was that There's no reason you should ride on public transportation way. anymore. But every, if you use the subway, there's always a bathroom. I mean, you know, if you take the Washington Metro and, you know, you need to commute somewhere, there's always somewhere to, you know, piss or shit or whatever you got to do. Yeah, sometimes it's in the car. Back. Well, I don't think they actually have official bathrooms in the cars. No, they don't. But you just some people tell just you what, do. Yeah, folks, Virginia That's is right. for lovers, and the district is for tourists. Come one, come all. In fact, oh, damn you it. can land at Dulles. Fuck Crystal City. You don't need to fly to Reagan. Fuck National Airport, man. Fly out to Dulles. Get on that fucking Silver Line. You know, after you do your what is it about a forty minute walk from the terminal to finally get to the platform. Anyways. Something yeah, like that. Like are you? Cardio. You're not trying to queue up uh, the video, are you? No, 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 no. Okay, all right, good. Because no, 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 I didn't no, actually get New to Dominion prep it State? today. Yeah, I actually have a rap song that was dedicated to the 
Drizzle called The New Dominion State. That oh, yeah. Is a description. That's a, a killer track, dis- man. It's a description of every single Metro line. <laughs> More or less, yeah. Red line, blue line, silver line, orange line. <sighs> Anyways. And, well, it's, it's a compendium of the entire historical record, more or less, boiled down into about seven verses. A lot of fucking history crammed into that fucking song. Yeah, just like just like the state. A lot of yeah. fucking history cl- crammed history. into that state. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's very state noticeable now. in Things many changed. places in Virginia. Virginia used to be a backwoods, rural, kind of MAGA feeling, just Republican stronghold. And this much um, of the state still is. But there there's been this growing liberal blue fungus that I think it it's it's because it's any anytime you're close to the bay, you get close to the water, close to the Potomac, Leesburg, Reston, mm-hmm. Sterling. Um Oh, Reston and Sterling, Williams definitely. Bird. Reston and Sterling um, are the new fucking Arlington. Yeah. Yeah, fucking spook <laughs> city. Everywhere. They're all over the yeah. fucking place. <laughs> Lots of khakis. Ridiculous. Way too many Birkenstocks. And, of course, socks in the Birkenstocks. And, and there's so many spooks around there. Khakis you're gonna as see a motherfucker. far as the eye can see. Yeah. You're going to see motherfuckers at Trader Joe's, at Trader Joe's, with khaki shorts, and yeah. toe socks and a pair of fucking tie-dye Birkenstocks. You're like, how the fuck does he... You can only get those in Norway, dude. How the fuck does this guy have some Stavanger fucking coastal Norwegian Birkenstocks? Because he works for the company. Because he works for the... Bingo! Yeah. He works at the pickle factory. That's he right. pickle. Which is really funny. Because at, <laughs> hey, when COVID kicked off, I was working just a few miles down the street from Langley. I was actually having having fucking spooks come into my business on a daily basis where I worked. Yeah, it, you, it, you I had one asked. dude, uh, one dude that I talked to. I remember. Uh, I remember. I was trying to. Uh, you remember the figure skater uh, Michael Weiss? Yeah. He lives in that area. He's a contractor now. I used to see him two, three times a week. He's a fucking awesome guy, by the way. Uh, but I had, be dude, I had former fucking Edo. government secretaries coming into the store, buying paint and shit. You would not believe the people that would, that would come in there. And for those wondering, you know, when you're working in your establishment, how do you know when a spook is in the store? Well, you see, when they walk through the door, there's a When there's like door four time. of them? Yeah. And there, you only ever talk to one of them? And you'll hear the little thing go, do, 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 and you look up, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, only, it only does that if you're non-civilian. Yeah. Because there's this biometric scanning. I mean, it, it's insane the number of fucking thumbprint doors that you see in Reston and Sterling. Even to the condos. Like, you have to thumbprint to get... Eh, eh, eh. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever, man. Do your thumbprint and then climb back onto that fucking Metro subway car that's got... Oh, it's coming, urine man. And it's coming. poop puddled in every other seat. That's why everyone is standing. Like, how do you know a tourist is on your subway car? Well, They're it used to be down. they had They're a the camera. They're the ones actually sitting down, you know. Ah, that's a good point. They got a, yeah, they got a camera around, Damn. or they're, they're sitting down. Because anyone that knows, no way I'm sitting on a seat on this, any fucking subway car. No. I know what people do on these seats, man. Not it's not like it. they get not a good cleaning day to day either. Yeah. It's and, like, and wipe, you look you know, at, spray it, wipe it down. You look at the tracks, you look at the signage, like you come up, you can see the little mini stoplights on the side of the railroad tracks for the train engineers. And like the bulbs are blown out of it and half the signs are mangled and you can't read it anymore. And it's just not maintained. It's just completely crumbling and falling apart. 
and it's not even as old as the New York Metro. But it's I wonder if the same thing is happening with BART out in San Francisco. Oh, man. You didn't hear about the BART derailment? No. Or the two BART trains that stopped running? No, I don't, I don't pay much attention to news out of California. I know it's all bullshit. For, for so. those taking notes, that's the Bay Area Rapid Transit System. That's right. It's primarily an elevated train that connects yes. Oakland to San Francisco. Um, although- Dude, when I, was, when I was out in San Francisco in the 80s and riding on the BART, like it was fantastic. It was like some futuristic type shit. I was like, oh, okay. So this is what life is going to be like in the future. Uh, no, wrong. Man, they got one of those things at Detroit too, the little sky train. And it's, uh, I don't think I would ride the one in Detroit. Nope. No, thank you. Well, the one in Detroit doesn't really go anywhere except to, to, uh, that station where you got robbed. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> exactly why I wouldn't write it. Shout out Wayne County, Michigan. Anyway. So even even Bart is falling into disrepair. <coughs> Damn. Yeah, it's um you know, if I didn't know any better, I would say that in terms of financial infrastructure, um intrastate infrastructure like rails and everything, inner city infrastructure again, you know. Just all over the entire country. It's just like, it, it kind of looks like one of those abandoned casino buildings in Las Vegas, like a day or two before they're going to blow it up. And like they've already exposed all the main columns and they've got all the shape charges and the thermite wrapped around the inside columns and they've busted out all the windows and glass and it's all hollowed out. And yeah. it's all ready for somebody to just push that fucking stick down and boom and. There it goes. Oh, it must have been hit by an airplane. Anyway, yeah, they usually make usually. a show of it. <laughs> huh. yeah. It was an airplane, turns out, that made that whole thing just <laughs> pancake flat. And seconds flat, right? Well, um, you know, an architect, you, um, you try sitting in burning jet fuel for an hour, Yona, and see how you feel. I would be like one of those terrorist passports that floated to safety in that burning molten river to steel. Miracles Did they ever God. find out what those passports were made out of? <laughs> we need to build more shit out of that material. <laughs> I'm the telling you. The most indestructible fucking passport. <laughs> you know, I got to give a shout out to the one and only James um, Corbett, of course. that There is more than one James. Um, James yes. Corbett, who has of all time the best, most succinct, I think it's like maybe 90 seconds, maybe two minutes top. What are you talking about? The 9-11 video? It's 9-11 explainer. Oh, dude, it's like five minutes. But it's a oh. comprehensive five oh, minutes. Oh, my God. He yeah. touches ev- everything. Single. It, Every like single a, thing. It's like a decathlon where there's like horse riding, um, running, swimming, rowing a boat. It's a decathlon, but Corbett does every single one himself mm-hmm. in five minutes. Runs through the whole game. That's it. Yeah. RBL oh. got it. 9-11 explained in under five minutes by James Corbett. Boom. Search it up. Boom. Oh, my God. Because it's the official narrative, which is when given, when it's all condensed and and boiled down and all of its fine bullshit goodness makes no fucking sense into a five minute cake of just dried bullshit fiber no more moisture content it it is completely moist free and then it and then you're like oh my this is the most ridiculous fucking shit i've ever heard in my life and you're a you're a quack Conspiracy nut job, fucking. If you ever question any single part of this, <laughs> gotta love that. Gotta love that. Yeah. I job with this, Kovac son. All right. Cool. So, uh, apparently, the universities are burning to the ground. Is that what's happening? 
Uh, I heard that the students were very angry and they had to call in uh, the enforcers. And apparently there was some violence all across the country at universities at the same time. I can tell you how we can solve. Totally not right organized or orchestrated at all. Completely organic. These are supposed to be places of higher learning. So, first two things that need to be gone over in freshman fucking orientation as soon as they hit the campus. First two things, higher learning. Number one, pass around the weeds. Everybody start getting high. This is higher education, not sober education. Read the fucking sign. And then when they all get high, and you teach them. Lesson number one, and the single most important lesson, Israel's awesome. You're not allowed to criticize Israel, ever. Well, in some well, places, crazy. it's illegal to criticize yeah. Israel. I mean, are, are you... Apparently, uh, uh, Governor Abbott is trying to make Texas one of those places. Because he seems to believe that it already is, but it's not. I have news for Every him. Every single freshman college orientation must begin with a wholesale and comprehensive condemnation of Hamas. If you're not teaching them on day one to wake up every morning and condemn Hamas, you're fucking up, man. You're fucking up. You're leading your students astray. Soon they'll begin to have thoughts of their own. What's the point of going to college if you're just going to go think for yourself? <laughs> go get your received opinion and jump in line in the PMC fucking hamster wheel there. Get on your little fucking conveyor belt like the fucking Pink Floyd Another Brick in the Wall video and just drop right into the fucking meat grinder and get your 401k, slave away. At least you can afford the organic avocado toast at Trader Joe's on Route 7 because you're too broke to take the tollway. You lost your transponder. Maybe think about getting a third job, lazy ass. It's the American way. Work harder for less, slave. Hmm. I mean, there, there's literally the lyrics in the national anthem. <clears throat> and I quote this. The one and only Francis Scott Key. Shout out Patapsco River Bridge. Um, <laughs> no refuge could save the hireling or slave. Yet doth our star-spangled banner wave. Damn, you did that from memory? That's that's the hidden secret verse three. I'm a songwriter, singer, musician. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's kind of my thing. You I, work that muscle quite a bit. Which, which is funny because you know I love it whenever people get into marijuana arguments. They'll come and get the Yona because the Yona is the one that fucks up everyone's marijuana argument. And then I've I've had the arguments face to face many times. It's like, no, I smoke marijuana. It makes you dumb, stupid. Really. Speak for yourself. I mean, if you start out dumb before you got high, you'll just be dumber. You'll be but, dumb and high. Yeah, but you're still dumb. But it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't not change your IQ because you get high. It like any other substance, it just enhances what you already are. It's up to you how you choose to display that to the world. Me personally, I use it to pick fights with strangers on Twitter. Yeah. Because that's, that's what gives fun. me the most joy. That's fun. It, it really is fun. It's it like, is. it's like, it is. And matter of fact, I, I have to do this now. Kicks. But you know, no, what I'm saying? Yona, you got your Yona, kicks on, you got hold your wife beater, you go down, you're going to play ball on the blacktop and make some money. Yeah. Like Woody Harrelson. Well, I was speaking, Twitter. I was speaking of that store that I worked at just down the road from Langley. Uh, there was a gentleman right. that I worked with there named Thomas who used to do that exact thing. He picked fight with strangers on Facebook all day long and, and just like, just got off on it. Thought it was the greatest thing. I always thought he was a fucking weirdo. So Thomas, if you're listening, I now understand. 
it's so satisfying. I had to get that know, off my chest. When you know those little phrases, sometimes all it takes is just a trigger word. And you know you're winning because, like, you see their thing and you just type your little pithy one word response or something. Boom. Oh, 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 I got a bite. I got a bite. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Real, whoa. Jerk it. Oh, real that fucker. Whoa, we're getting paragraphs. We're getting paragraphs. Oh, he bit. He, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, get me my filet knife, honey. Oh yeah, it's 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 a feeling. It, it's a rush. It's just like shout out, um, guy with the GoPro fishing show. I mean, it's it's a fucking adrenaline shot when you're like literally, hmm, what do I do now? Let me just do the thinking emoji. Blink. Hmm. Boom! Another paragraph. Oh, he's doubling down. Give me some more barracuda. More red herring, please. Don't you have a better straw man than that? Come on, man. Hit me with your best illogical fallacies. <laughs> Shout out Tony Myers. Oh, yeah. You know, can't defeat the logic with stupidity, but uh, you can definitely scream nope. louder and I just walk away. Don't argue with dumb people. No, Instead, no, you never should. Speak through emojis. And if you got somebody trying to use uh, logic on you, counter them with humor. Yep. Humor always trumps logic. My my, 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 uh, fallback position is always, well, you might be right. I don't know. I'm completely fucking baked right now, and I won't remember anything you're saying right now. Please go on. I'm listening. And they do. Yeah. That's the best part. Yeah, they, that's the best part. They just keep going. That, that's why Drizzle like, wow. fucks with it. That's why your boys Thomas be fucking with it, man. It's yeah. it's fun. Good old American hijinks and fun. It's, it's what the Brit- our British it's friends It's a shame the what pond. they do to people. It really, really is. But if people are going to allow it to be done to them, I can I, I have believe- fun with that. Can I? Is that a sin? The British, uh, the British call that tomfoolery and bollyhoo. Yeah, bollyhoo. That's a good word Online for it. Bollyhoo. Yeah. Uh, I will take tomfoolery. Uh, Alex, tomfoolery for two hundred. I'm an active <laughs> practitioner of tomfoolery. I like it because uh, you could use it in a song lyric, and you could rhyme it. With Chuck Woolery. That's right. Yeah. And Chuck Woolery is from Huntington, West Virginia. No we shit. Have all ties together. Yeah. We have a Chuck wow. Woolery Boulevard next to the John Ritter Park because um, the, the Ritter Park, the Ritter family, um, what's his name? Jack Ritter? John Ritter, the one that played on Three's Company. Yeah, John Ritter. John Ritter. He's from Huntington, West Virginia. Right. Holy shit. Famous, famous Huntingtonian? Hun- Huntington. Hunting- We're going to go with Virginians. Famous Virginians. Okay. There you go. Famous wet Virginians. It's, it's wetter on this side of the mountain. Trust me. Much wetter. A lot, lot more um, brewing of the liquors and such. I, I mean, you can get was... lit. There you can get liquors in Virginia, but a lot of the times they come in a bottle. Out of West Virginia, that got a lot of play in the entertainment industry. I can't remember who it was though. Oh yeah, a couple singers. The probably the most famous guy that's pulling his weight on TV. Maybe I'm just right thinking now. of Loretta. No, because Loretta Lynn was from Kentucky, right? Yeah, right. But where she grew up is about six miles from the West Virginia Kentucky state line. Oh, so she's basically a West Virginia girl. She grew up the same way as everybody else in the holler. I mean, Loretta Lynn's place where she was born, Loretta Webb, uh, hits uh, about a 35-minute drive from my house here going up. big. Don Knotts was from West Virginia? No shit, RBL? Soupy Sales. (laughs) Wow. We just lost all the under 30... Uh, in the audience, <laughs> they're just like, oh, fuck these guys, old farts. These, uh, these references are getting obs- as obscure as a Dennis Miller joke, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> you 
And and the funny thing is, now when I tell an obscure joke about Dennis Miller, the funniest part of the joke is it's the Dennis Miller part that's obscure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How you like that, Dennis Miller? Uh, that's thing, like that's we meta levels of comedy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, it's <laughs> but no to to get back to the uh, the terrible, tragic situation that is unfolding in uh, quads all across the nation, Yona. Oh, that Texas um, footage that was brutal. <laughs> Cops took over the door. Oh yeah. The oh band. yeah. Fuck There's you. there was some good footage. People were getting good footage. There's no question I was about that. Though I never saw an officer Albert Pike going all UCAL Berkeley with the fucking spray can and shit though. Oh yeah. But you know, I did not think that this was going to be the reason that I would get an invitation onto a Sam Tripoli podcast. Wow. Did not have that on my scorecard for 2024. Yeah. Yeah, Sam uh, sent me a message last night, literally as I'm about to get into bed and go to sleep. He's like, hey, dude, you want to come on my podcast? Talk about wow. what's going on with the, the colleges. As, yeah. as many conspiracies as I've thought about wearing my tinfoil hat, no tinfoil hat conspiracy ever included the drizzle jumping up in that. Yeah. Well, this, no, what, this wasn't the main show. Coming. Yeah, this was uh, Deep Conspiracy Rewind. Whoa. This is one of his other shows, but still in the Sam Tripoli family yeah. of media, right? Yeah, with, with the one and only um, Tram Sipoli, or uh, Sam Tripoli. Yeah, the man himself. Thanks. Yeah, um, which uh, he was on the the episode of Union of the Unwanted that I was on. I don't know if like that is what brought me to his attention or whatever, but I responded to his tweet last night, and then we had a nice little back and forth. It was nice, right? All right. But I did have to respectfully decline his invitation. Because I just, ah. I'm too old, man. I cannot, cannot do that stuff to myself anymore. And if he was, if he was at home, that means he was like two hours behind. So Ooh. where it was midnight here, it was only 10 o'clock there. If it had been 10 o'clock here, I'd have been like, all right, I'll do that for an hour. That's pretty late. It's late for me. I'm old. You know, I, uh. I normally do my peasants podcast beginning at midnight. I know. Some, I don't know how you do it either. My uh, shows have gone death of tyrants <clears throat> <clears throat> so long that on one of my peasants podcasts, I actually fell asleep. I got <laughs> to like about eight hours into the podcast and I fell asleep on Just the fell stream out. and then woke up about 20 minutes later. And then when I ended the stream, I went back and rewound, and I'm literally snoring on my own stream for the last 20 minutes until I wake up. And then the, just the look on my face when I wake up and, and get all close to the camera and everything. I really need to re-upload some of these old episodes. No doubt. <laughs> but anyways, because, you know, it's kind of a Grand Theft World tradition to start your show late and then broadcast until the birds are chirping outside your window. Am, am I right, LD? Anyways. <laughs> That's what crazy people do. Hey, it's only once a week. <laughs> right, Rich? Dude, hey, once a week once when a week. you're 50? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because I did so many drugs and stayed up all hours of the night in my <laughs> teens and 20s and 30s and into my early 40s. Uh, I mean, it's I'm just not like I'm it's... good with it. I'm good with it now. I like getting a good night's sleep now. So I guess that like makes me throw old. off your circadian rhythm for the entire week, right, Tony? Yeah. Oh, I bet Tony's never slept so good now. <laughs> well, we won't know until this coming weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we'll find out then. <laughs> Wow. You know, I, I'm just picturing late Sunday night, Monday morning, like 
she gets up in the middle of the night. She's like, <laughs> where the fuck is Tony? Sitting downstairs at the kitchen table, drinking a cup of coffee, wide a fucking wake. Yeah. Anyways. We'll see. I mean, you know, you get into a habit, you know, and your body like gets, gets your body gets used to it and, you know, yeah. And then, and then you're just going to stop, you know, it's going to take a while. You know, it's, you got to, if you're a semi to, to stop that quick, you're going to have to jake it, man. And that's yeah, going to piss mean, off everybody in town. Kicks in. You know, you got to do what you got to do to pull that shit to a halt. Turn the page. Try something new. Yeah. But hopefully that's that's not the last invitation that I get from Sam. I would I would actually like to to spar with Sam on a on a comedic level. Okay. I don't know if I'm quite quite sharp enough uh to hold my own with him for a full hour yet, but I'll give it a shot. You know, when you do decide to do that, you gotta put me on post notice. Because, you know, oh, I, yeah. I got my cell phone with me, and we can totally, like, who wants to be a millionaire this shit? You know what I'm saying? And instead of call a friend, you got text a friend. And when he keeps hitting you with this shit, you're like, and I'm I'm watching, and I'm listening. Because it's all about the timing. Yeah. I got the you in a lifeline. You got the so, you know, lifeline. Yeah. Boom. Hit him with one of these fucking Yona triple puns in one that's like the fucking Russian doll and the Russian doll and the Russian doll. Yeah. When you just watch Sam's mind blow. And then he just starts breaking out in fits of laughter. It's like, you're, you're a comedic genius. Person. Dude, we could just get one of those you things where like, I put something in my ear <laughs> and I just like Joe Biden the whole thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think it could work. It has a chance about, of working. It's all about the slogans and the catchphrases. And, you know. I guess. It's all about, uh, because if you're going to talk about ideas and thoughts, Throw some pizzazz and jazz fingers on it and sell it. Use the best words, like 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 President Cheeto Dick. You know, you got the best words, huge words. My words are huge. Speaking of which, um, I don't think we've ever really gotten much into the Trump trials and all that stuff going on in TV. No, and I don't. I don't Why think would we, we? Ever will. <laughs> I mean, it's kind yeah. of a waste of time. It um, is. Besides, I'd rather talk about Ukraine. See, we just did Ukraine again. Oh, God damn We already it. talked about it earlier. That's three times in one show. You happy? Did we? We, we talked we, about Dubai yeah. last week, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the flood in Dubai. The floods, yeah. yeah and like the, all because the, they have no stormwater sewer. Right. Or sanitary sewer. Right. They have no right. way to deal with large volumes of water all at once. You yeah. know, that you would think if they know how to bury oil pipelines. They could bury other pipes that are hollow too. I mean, not and, everybody has the same ideas all the time, Yona. Yeah, you have to take that into account. But you know, after getting lit up for I would say a good week in the social ghettos, the United Arab Emirates decided to uh, make sharing details of the biblical Dubai flood illegal. If if you live in the United Arab Emirates, oh wow! Because I don't think they can actually go outside of their country and like nab other people and bring them back and be like, "You weren't supposed to do this. We're putting you in a cage." Wow! Shout out to uh, Amadina Abu Dhabi and uh, El Emirat. Uh, what is it? Uh, El Emirat Al Arabian Mutahidan or UAE. There you go. I'll Arabic. take your word for it. That, that's I do not speak uh, Arabic. Arabic, as they call it around here. So I'm at Arabic. Or, or just terrorist. You speak terrorist, don't you? <laughs> but it's cool, man. Like, for example, um, at the clinic today, I'm, I'm going to walk out the door, and I see, uh, I'm going to say they were... Because mm, I heard French too. What? But it was weird. At, I'm going to say they were Moroccan, Moroccan, maybe from Fez. 
which is interesting because I was I shared the Fez Morocco video I think on somewhere maybe it was Liberty Radio Telegram a- anyway so I'm going to walk out the door and this guy's walking in and and the the Zaljati the the wife uh is in the hijab you know the you know the head scarf and stuff <clears throat> and drops the wife and the kids off at the door the automatic door is open and as per custom I immediately cut to the right so that she can pass to my right. And then right at the moment when she goes past me, I then bow my head and say, Asalaamu Alaikum. Just right on cue. Immediately fires back. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. Heard that. Boom. Moroccan. Then I had a cigarette. Um, Interesting. God, I'm so fucking tired. I don't even know why I told that story. I just thought it was. Oh, because the Arabic. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, okay. It's not totally incoherent rambling. Then. It's connected. All right. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. I mean, we do yeah. get, we get a little bit out of hand every now and then. But for the most part, we keep it on the tracks. I think. Uh, but for those that know. are I'm, wondering. I'm what usually this- high as fuck. So I'm a little bit better this week because I ran out of the gummies and I haven't <laughs> re-upped on those yet. But I probably will at some point. The gibberish I was saying there. Um, MyBraveBotanicals.com, by the way. <laughs> that's where I get my gummies from. <laughs> For anyone who is wondering. That good shit. Should be linked yeah. in the description. Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, when you say in that foreign language, um, assalamu alaikum. Uh, assalam, like salami, means peace. Wa with piece of salami. Yeah. Tasty. Lekum with with you. Um so peace be this, with you. Take this wiener is basically <laughs> what it means. Um salami walekum. Um, and then uh and then in response the person says <laughs> No, you take this wiener. So it's kind of like playing hot potato, but linguistically. Right. Huh. This wiener's for you. No, it's <laughs> This wiener's for you. But we're talking about peace. Salam. Anyways. Mind you, the so, wieners are made, I just have to say, the wieners are made of laham hamal. They're made of 100% halal mutton. That's that's from, that's lamb's meat wieners. And totally halal. Because I don't want to be um, idiotic. Anyways. Right. So, let's say we have another, we have uh, Kent State 2024, right? Because it's, it's overdue at this point, really. Four right. dead in Ohio. Yeah, there you go. And the government decides to pass a law that says, uh, you American uh, citizen people are subjects. Uh, you can't talk about this in the social ghettos or we'll come and get you. Wow. I, could, I could see that happening with uh, the the legislation that's been set up recently to basically allow them dominion uh, over everybody's uh, everything on the internet for all of time in perpetuity. Well, gosh, th- this and is legally kind of bonding. Awkward. I've got like six different songs and videos, at least. That are all like ride or die, free Palestine, fuck Israel. So this is kind of awkward. Oh, they'll be coming for you. Yeah. I'm clearly not um, neutral on this issue. Yeah. Um, And I've been bitching about the genocide of the Palestinians ever since I could form fucking words with my mouth. And that was in the 1970s. Shout out Starsky and Hutch. So, you know. Yasser Arafat. <laughs> and is it the plo, the plo, or did you or do you just say plo? Plo. Oh, that's that's I, how I, I, I that's how I learned it growing up. But again, I heard I, someone I arguing right about outside it the of other DC. Day. So I literally heard someone arguing about it about the plo and Arafat, and I was like, I thought it 
was the PLO? The Palestinian Liberation saying, Organization? Right, that, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Nobody ever but, called it the PLO. That guy in that argument did, which told me he really didn't know what he, he was didn't know what he's talking about. about. Yeah. Yeah. Which made it more entertaining, though, because there's nothing more entertaining than to see two idiots argue with each other and they're both and neither one stupid. knows a damn thing about and what neither they're one of them knows what the fuck. <laughs> God. it's like fucking tweedledee yeah. tweedledum that, that is shit, that man. is about <laughs> half of the alternative media exactly yeah. that's see man i'll tell you what i lay it off the back it is board, it is <laughs> God damn! It is sometimes that. entertaining to watch though, because you, you're sitting there and you're watching it, you know, realizing these motherfuckers don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. Why that's is anybody much, watch, are five thousand people are watching this right single, now? What the fuck? I think we're describing every single episode of the inner monologue of Tim Pool. <laughs> when you that argue was with the yourself. image that just came to mind. Yes. Um, but you're wearing a toboggan, so it's fine. You're keeping the voices under the under the hood, literally. Um, oh or my! Tim, is it called? It's just called Tim Cast, right? Yeah. Tim or Timmy Cast. Cast. I call it Timmy Cast. Some people would call it um, alopecia, but it is treatable. Yeah. Just ask um, Will Smith's old lady. I'm not going to say her name. I'm not getting slapped. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look at Chris Rock. Yeah, they can come looking for you. Uh, what was it? Um, Jada Pinkett Smith? Um, I, I don't know. I think she got lost last August. Or no, his name was August, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs> ah. Thankfully, I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. And, uh, I, I'm quite happy. Not knowing what you're talking about. <laughs> wow, I'm just I'm just picturing now like uh, Will Smith, like back when he's filming um, on the set of The Wild Wild West, and they've got all this like steampunk feel going on with all the like the mechanical shit, and he's trying to laugh it up and do his you know his musical numbers, and it's like all it's like he's basically playing on a six flag stage or something it's very b movie hmm. and in the middle of all that jade is cucking him wow man that i mean that that's got to be the lowest point of will smith's career i got to figure there's got to be a few nights during the filming of wild wild west when he was totally hasselhoff eating burger on the floor type drunk fuck you know what i'm saying anyway i don't know I don't. I don't know if we have seen the lowest point of no. Will Smith publicly yet. Publicly, that that might still Wait be coming. It. Wait for it. Yeah. Wait for it. That, it might I, don't, be I don't think anyone could go out better than Diddy, though. I don't know. I'm. Uh, wow. I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around that. Because there's Black there's FC. no way that both of his houses were raided at the same time, right by by the feds, and anything is going to come of anything that they took from either one of those homes. I think that was to get rid of evidence. I don't think it was to collect it for prosecution. I think it was to cover shit up, just like they did with Epstein, right? Just like they did with Epstein. They got all the fucking tapes. We we ain't never gonna find out shit about what is on those tapes ever. Listen, it's never gonna fucking happen. Diddy is the hit, exact fucking same. After they punch through to the D ring of the Pentagon, they may be about their, to get uh, rid of him. Is what's going on? And you know this story, Drizzle. After they punched all the way into the D ring of the Pentagon with that Patriot missile on September 11th, they immediately sent the feds to every single like because there's a gas station, you know gas station camera everything all around the parking lots because you know pentagon turns out has five sides and parking lots all the way around it surrounded by freeways and gas stations and so there's fucking cameras that could see the entire approach and impact of the um 
shit, where did I put my air quotes? Oh, airplane that struck the Pentagon after doing, what, two reverse corkscrews and something else from a guy yeah. that couldn't even fly a Cessna or a Piper Cub. Anyways. Yeah, uh, um, a maneuver that no human pilot would be right. able to pull off. Yeah. And then they immediately According go, to the AI that analyzed it. And with, and they fucking raid all of the gas stations, the hotels, because, you know, Crystal City's got all those high-rise hotels because yep. it's a Reagan airport. And it, they go all around and take everyone's security footage, never to be seen again. When they show up and do their raids, it's not to preserve evidence, but to make it disappear. Maybe it's destroyed. Maybe not. Well, we got that one You'll frame. <laughs> of that object. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't have big airplane wings or big, you know. Well, and you can't really, because it's anything. just like a blur. You can't make out really anything on it. It's just a blob. Because, you know, when, when you blur out uh, a moving airplane or you take a picture of a moving airplane, it's going really, really fast. So it always just shows up as a blur. Yeah, especially when it, the wings are really, really small, and there's three sets of wings going down the cylindrical base. Um, and then it hits the only wall of the Pentagon that was not made entirely of wood, but had just been renovated with reinforced concrete, even though the rest of the entire building is basically a wooden tinder box light a match, and it would literally be a ring of fire, Johnny Cash. Anyway. <coughs> Wait, how did we get the, there from the Diddy? Because of the know. federal raids. Because the, the, the feds raided his oh. two cribs to destroy the evidence. The feds encircled the Pentagon parking lots and Hotel Row right there off the G-dubs and to snatch the fucking camera footage. It's ours now, bitch. To and it's not to preserve evidence or spread evidence, but to destroy it or keep it secret. I mean, I, same result either way. Nobody gets to know. I mean, look at I'll all be the curious punishments to they see did, how it uh, unfolds. I will. What Where is I didn't really care about it a whole lot Ghislaine before. Maxwell. Yeah. She got sentenced, right? Ghislaine Maxwell, first person ever sentenced for. Um, human trafficking to no clients. Apparently. Yeah. Because so nobody it. else has ever been prosecuted in right. relation to any of the crimes that Ghislaine is alleged to have committed. Or I guess at this point said to have committed or proven to have committed. Convicted of being suspected to have committed. Because uh, that's how the to, justice system works. You know, according to my sources, which wanted to remain anonymous um, for reasons of personal security, uh, some people say that the actual Ghislaine Maxwell that's currently wearing the orangies um, in, in the clinky clanks, not actually the real Ghislaine Maxwell. But that's what some people say, according really? to my unnamed anonymous sources. Think of it what you will. Yeah. Who knows? It's entirely possible. It can't be ruled out. The important thing to, to remember is all of the evidence we know about the Lolita Express. Yeah. That's their little um, human trafficking uh, airline. Well, it wasn't just the Lolita Express. There, there's uh, more Ghislaine's, than one. Line. Ghislaine's whole Terra Mar organization was a part of it as well. Mm-hmm. Because it was being used to groom and funnel and all of that shit. You got to hand it to them, though. They were they were a family friendly company. Drizzle. Everything was half off for kids. Anyways, too soon. It's too soon. Some people just got that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there is oh, there God. is good news today, Yona. I don't know if you heard the good news in the midst of all uh, the skull cracking that was going on at campuses all across the nation. Uh, the Harvey Weinstein conviction has been overturned. 
Oh. So the the oh wrongly convicted Hollywood mogul uh, is, uh, I guess, he's a free man now. It, it's it's like the mogul rising, Jim Morrison. Yeah, get your mogul rising. So does that mean Oprah is now uh, officially off the hook, or how does that work? I I think Oprah just got her uh, blue tarp. She's good. Doesn't have to worry about the directed energy weaponry. It's all good. They cover each other's asses. Normally with Vaseline. Yeah. Um, sometimes baby oil. And sometimes no Vaseline. Right, Ice Cube? Anyways. Um, it just depends on the mood. Sometimes you feel right. like a nut. Sometimes you don't. If you're doing it right, it's not even necessary. Just telling you. Let's be honest, none of them are doing it right. Yeah. No. Well, I guess I will address this issue briefly here. The You know, it turns out the Zionists really have looked into what is um, preventing the efficacy of the good efforts and constant work of Unit 8200 uh, of the Mossad, Israeli intelligence. Um, right. And the Hasbara, which is, uh, again, it's a Hebrew-speaking country, and things are written in Hebrew as well. Uh, and yet, Hasbara is entirely in American English, not even British English. They they have a Hasbara just for England, too. Because, believe you me, they, they it's, it's, it's bewildering to see the stranglehold in the House of Commons with the ministers of Parliament as, as they genuflect and perform their royal curtsies to the, the Zionists. Um, I mean, you, you saw what oh, they Just did. like they do uh, in Congress. Jer I mean, Jeremy Corbyn was just totally tossed out, allegedly for being, you know, for speaking up against the um, Zionist uh, genocide. And he was tossed aside for being anti-Semitic. And so now you've got Keir Starmer and these other... This is get back harder. I know we're talking British politics and stuff, and but it's an international show. So, anyways, um, we and got, all we got people forgotten. in England that watch. Rishi Sunak. They're probably like, why are they talking about fuck our you, politician? Buddy. Fuck, oh, fuck you. yeah! Oh my god! Little rat faced god. fuck. Oh my god! He looks like uh, the what was that one Jesus movie that Christ. the Disney did with the uh, the rat the rat chef. Ratatouille. Yeah, that's what that's what yeah. Richie Sunak reminds me of. Ratatouille yeah. Sunak. There yeah. you go, Drizzle. Boom. Ratatouille Sunak. Boom. We, we make history here on Fuck Get Fact Harder, ladies and gentlemen. My my sober K I always called him Poison Sunak. It, it's it's like a genital rash or something. It's terrible. Um, you know, it's like getting the red dot between your eyes, but between your thighs, oh, everywhere. Jeez. Oh. Red dots everywhere. I you can't look, imagine. You know, once you pull your boxers aside and look down there, huh, you're going to be chakras, all right. What the fuck's going on? Um, my balls look like Taj Mahal's now. Son of a bitch. Um, but anyways, Rishi Sunak, man. And, and, he, and he speaks that fucking Eaton English. That yeah. Pronounced the, the refined the most accent it's not it's, <clears throat> it's a it's, it's a prep school call it what it is it's a prep yeah. school prep. Uh, accent e eaton is the preppiest prep prep school in the city of london yeah so they don't speak the cult me no they it's they speak queen's english proper yeah. english yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah because they think all, they're better than everybody else all hail king chucky the sausage fingered <laughs> that's right uh, you right. know, I I'm I am starting to wonder if they're gonna get rid of him here soon. And it's cool because things are kind of setting up that way, aren't they? They've got these MOPs that are like, you know, the outliers that call out some of the truths, uh, equivalent to like maybe like a Rand Paul or a Thomas Massey, you know, where they'll oh, yeah. they'll every, um, every nation they'll has feign. them. Yes, you know, it, but but yeah. it's just in, they're in down in Australia. It's uh, Malcolm Roberts, Trump. 
yeah, and yeah. Uh, Alex Antic. Uh-huh. It's crumbs. Yeah. It's just crumbs. Yeah. Uh, like uh, Kind of like a Bernie Sanders type thing, you know. Until they kind of, kind of, kind of, yeah. Kinda. Oh, Bernie's giving it to him, or or who's the one, Katie Porter, or or Elizabeth Warren when they'll have one of their financial subcommittee congressional hearings, and uh oh, uh oh, look out, look out, folks, Chowder's many clams from the New England band of Martha's Vineyard Cherokee, Elizabeth Warren, she's about to do the, there it comes, <laughs> oh, she's wagging her finger, how could you? That's right. How could you? Right, like sure, and all those millionaires. Sure. <laughs> yeah, champion of the common man, Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> what did you call her? Chowder's mini clams. There That's her Cherokee name. Because you know the Cherokee Nation, well known for its um, seafood recipes. Um, hmm. not really, but I mean, we do have fish. Um, I would imagine. Or- Mainly bearded clams because Brazilians. Well, there is two wax places down there. Um, so I guess you you can't get clams and potatoes. I mean, it's not a Cherokee thing. It's 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 not. It's not. I'll take your word for it. You know, the sad thing is, I feel like if I went up to Elizabeth Warren and I just said, "Wado." She would look at me and tilt her head sideways like, what the, what the fuck does that mean? And the sad thing is, there's probably hundreds if not thousands of people in the last three, four years that oh, have yeah. crossed paths with the Yona that know what the fuck what the means. Thank you. Anyway. And she's Cherokee, allegedly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, what does it mean if you don't know a single fucking thing. Of, anyway. It's, it's, it's not a, a title or a name. It's a way of life. It's a culture. It's, it's, it's like saying, you know, I'm Mexican. It's like, oh, cool. You, you like tacos? What the fuck are those? I used to go say you're no Mexican. Shit. No and shit. don't know what the fucking taco is, man. Yeah. Or you're, you're like, or as I say, I'm Mexican. You're like, oh, well, call me stop. Huh? What? Amigo? Huh? Speak English, man. It's like, I mean, why even call yourself Mexican if you don't know what a fucking taco is and all you speak is English? Well, the same thing goes for Cherokee, then. If you don't speak a single fucking word of Cherokee, you can't read Cherokee, you can't write Cherokee, you've never made um ganache Cherokee soup, which... <laughs> Clue, not made with octopus or fucking clams. We're in the goddamn mountains, man. It's made with hickory nuts from a pig nut hickory. Anyway, I'm sorry about your red. Well, you know, Yona, this might be the reason why the president of Mexico, our beloved AMLO, you know, Senor Lopez Obrador. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. That's right. All right, anyway. Uh, he has again called for the Americas to unite. You know, like in a in a European Union type of deal. Oh, Canamex. you didn't hear about that? Canamex. Can can I mix press mix with um laced weeds from Canada and then cut it with some organic fucking Texas Kush? You could. You could. But why? But why would Fuck you? Texas Kush. Fuck the press, Mexi. And don't smoke that shit from Vancouver. It'll kill yeah. you. I don't know what the fuck they're putting it in there. But Hong Kong G water or something. Uh, death to tyrants. That, you know what? Warn people when I they get think... to the mouth of the Fraser in BC there up in that confederation land of Canuckistanis. I think, do... I think we need to uh, trademark Canamex. I do. Yeah. We, need, we need to grab that domain. Uh, that dot gov, all of that shit, and we need to get that under uh, our umbrella, so that when this whole American Union thing goes down, bam, we got all the fucking infrastructure right there. We'll just be like, you know, give us money and you can have it, because that's always worked with the government before, right? 
Yeah, and I've already got the, the slogan. Can I mix my weeds? Can I mix my weeds? Yeah. Well, by then you but should why? be able to. Can I mix my weeds? Yeah, yeah. but why? What's wrong with you? When in Oaxaca, smoke Oaxaca seeds and stems. When in Vancouver, smoke fucking formaldehyde or whatever the fuck they're putting on their shit. And when you're in Texas, smoke some real fucking weed. Real shit, son. Is it legal in Texas? Um, yes and no. I mean, there's oh, there's a shop that, like, right down the street from me where I can literally walk into it and, and buy weed. I can buy flour. Well, I, then it's legal. Well, no. It's not. I don't, I don't understand. Like, I, I honestly do not understand uh, the cannabis I, I, laws in Texas. Well, see, that makes sense because in Ohio, it's been legal since November. And in Virginia, it's been legal since, is it three and a half years now? But you can't walk into any shop and buy it. But yet in Texas, if they don't have... I walk in and buy it, yeah. Rec- but they... I, I don't know exactly how they God, how Texas. they get around it, but it's <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, actually, one of your neighbors, uh, Afro Man, yeah, up there in Ohio, I think he it's down is, the river here. Yeah, I think he's getting into the distribution business. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah. Right. Right. He's right over there in uh, West Union, Ohio. Um, yeah. Apparently, he's gonna he's setting up a service. Where you can get like a subscription and every month they'll just send you weed. Oh, and um, about 45 minutes northwest of here is a little town uh, between Portsmouth and um, Dayton called Yellow Springs that I've driven through several times. I might have been there. And that's where Dave Chappelle lives. There's even a Dave Chappelle. Oh, that's shop right. That's right. Right in the middle of Yellow Springs. And so I literally got Tyrone Biggums and Afro Man just right here beside me. <laughs> I fit right in. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Dude. Dylan. Seriously, man. The show's almost over. <laughs> like we only got like 30 minutes left and you decide now was the time to show up you kidding me oh he's gonna ask me oh i gotta say guess what and then he asks me how high and i haven't thought about how high i am i need to take a reading just a second all right i'm gonna say that you're probably um you're probably higher than Uncle Bozy was when he got shot down over New Guinea and uh, ended Eaten up dying by, cannibal- by cannibalisms. Yeah. It's terrible. They ate him feet first. Yeah. For a long time. That's right. So he could watch <laughs> the whole time. I'm actually higher than Hannibal the Hannibal Lecter style. <laughs> I'm higher than, than the rent at a duplex condo on a roundabout in rest in virginia anyway <clears throat> which i'm gonna right now i'm gonna price it at about 22.50 per month because it's you know it, it's got a gym and a pool and everything and, you know it's literally two minutes off that's the pretty generous hallway. yeah and it's walking distance to the albertsons so you know Oh, I did uh, before I forget or get too high. Do they still have Albertsons in Virginia? No, I don't think so, unless they have them down like at the beach. They didn't have them in Fairfax. I don't remember seeing. Uh, I don't remember seeing one in Woodbridge, like anywhere in the D.C. metro area. Definitely not out in like. Leesburg or Warrington or Culpeper or any no. of that. No, fuck no. You're gonna have to go uh, Safeway. To you got so. Safeway out in Warrington. Yeah. Uh, which but was actually pretty trader, nice because it was new. There is a Trader Joe's though, right? 
Oh, and of hope- course. There's like 20 Trader Joe's in the DC yeah. metro area. They're all over the fucking place. Uh, but I did, I did want to give a shout out before I forget to uh, Lauren over at Some Bitch I Know, which is uh, you know another media personality that I've been following for a while. Don't I don't mention her a whole lot, but she does really good work. She's actually going to be hosting American Journal on Infowars tomorrow morning for Harrison Smith. Yeah. Harrison Smith, bro. You know, I hung out with him. Yeah. Like, talking to him for a couple hours. Sharp-dressed man, ZZ Top. Classic. Harrison, classy man. Yeah, but that's pretty awesome, I, I thought. I'll tell you what. I, I, I can tell you exactly how I knew Harrison Smith was classy. When he came in, first thing he did is check the crease on his pocket nappy, which matched the tie and the cufflinks with the same fucking color. God damn. I mean, if he would have had a cummerbund, I literally would have just dropped to my knees and started doing the I'm not worthy thing like Garth in Wayne's World. Um, fucking classic. Richard Grove knows what I'm talking about. When you got the pocket nappy and the tie with the tie pin across the collar and the lapel and the f- fuck, man, and the matching cuff links. That's the thing. Oh, it's you like the, the shirt it's with the, the, the hip hop equivalent of, of blinging out, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. like you don't not only have the gator boots and the fur. Yeah, you got the pimp cane, and you're most rolling of all, like three deep on your chains. You got yeah. you got your crunk juice in your chalice. Absolutely. If you're gonna totally pimp out, you got to have your pimp chalice, jewel encrusted pimp chalice, because it matches the cane. That's right. And and the gator boots. Um, anyway, we pimps yeah. like that. No, but again, like I said, uh, Lauren does really good work. So if you guys have not encountered her before, uh, check her out. Her uh, her research is usually pretty in depth, and her sources are uh, immaculate. It's it's crazy. This girl does uh, some really really good investigative work. And hey, Harrison, Yona compared you to pimping because you rock, buddy. You're welcome. Anyway. Doing it right, son. That that that's the takeaway. Yeah. <clears throat> you realize your own power. You use logic, speak coherently and cogently, but do it dressed professionally, like 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 a David Knight type dude. But you know, w- without the whole fatherly figure. Instead, you know, Harrison looks trim. I mean, Harrison looks like he could probably mountain bike for about thirty clicks before he goes yeah. to the second water bottle. He's in good shape. You're right. Good. But it's good to see he Lauren. Can, he can jump have that there. uh he can have that job. I don't want that job. I'd rather no, no. uh it's I'd gonna rather be just weird. roll out of bed and play rock and roll music and say fuck the man. Lauren's gonna jump in there, she's gonna do the thing for Harrison. She's gonna get done, and this is where it's gonna be real weird as fuck. You're like, so Harrison, what were you doing? Did you enjoy Well, you know what? You'll never guess. I was out mountain biking. Well, how the fuck did you want to know that? Everywhere. I'm one with nature. Mm-hmm. Little birdie told me. And when I say a little birdie told me, literally a birdie told me. Bird. One of those languages I speak. Anyways. You'll have to teach me that one day. I, I want to know what these motherfuckers are saying about me. You have to be careful, though, because some of the birds are fake. <laughs> that Right. Um, the government birds. That's little, right. Little shits. They come from the flatter side of Earth. <laughs> Speaking of which, I saw... Uh, it's, what I, it's what I call Earth flattery science. I saw a, somebody make a comment somewhere online. So you know it was ridiculous, right? But something about there, there not being any reference to flat Earth before like 2010. And I was just like, are you completely retarded? Flat Earth has been around for a long fucking time. Yeah. It didn't just fucking spring up one day six months ago. 
flat earth has been around as long as devil's lettuce. Yeah, it's probably been around as long as mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And depending on who you want to listen to, that might actually be the shape of this thing that we're in on living amongst whatever the fuck it is. There is a way to prove the earth is flat, though, once you realize that rain is fake. Wait, what? Rain is fake? Yeah, you see it, it falls, more of it falls, more of it falls, all of a sudden it like pulls up and it like floods and everything. That's all fake. How is it all fake if you can observe it happening? <laughs> Obviously, don't believe your lying eyes or your lying ears. Drizzle, it's 2024, man. That's right, I forgot. Please check with verified sources first. Yeah, well, well. We, we should go to the Australian police then because they <laughs> announced this week that, that they were now going to be the one and only resource for truth in Australia. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yeah. If you want to know if it's true, go to your local policeman. Here's, here's the best joke of the night. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? It's the police. Yes, we'd like to talk to you about your Facebook like. <laughs> best part of the joke? True story. Yeah. My like to a Facebook post. What? Uh, we saw that you liked their post about the boycott, divest, and sanctions movement against the Jewish state of Israel. I thought it was the Zionist state of Israel. Aren't we conflating Judaism and um, genocidal um, ethno supremic? Um, Ethno supremacist Zionism. Ooh, I'd well, like to see how that question goes over with an FBI agent. Hopefully, I'll get an opportunity soon. I'm I'm feeling a little bit neglected that nobody's knocking on my door, wanting to ask me about the the memes that I post on the internet. Oh, you know? I do have to get a special message to all of you college students out there, all across the campuses. Protesting for the Palestine. That's right. Free Palestine. Hey, Yona's totally there wipe, with you. Wipe that totally blood real. from your eye and pay attention um, now. I mean, seriously, check out my last song, Phosphorus Eyes. Made that song long before the latest shit. I've, I've been all over this from day one. Anyways, here's the thing. If you don't want to get beat, you don't want to get pepper sprayed or anything, you know, keep your kefia and everything handy. But in a little pocket somewhere, keep you a little Israeli national flag with the blue colors and the Star of David and all that. Keep it folded up in your pocket. And when he comes running at you with Billy Club over his head, pop out that little Israeli flag and start singing the is it Atikva, the Israeli national anthem. Well, you don't have to do the net. Just pull out the fucking Israeli flag. As soon as he sees that blue star, David, boom, they'll all drop to their knees and genuflect. You're good. Now all your friends are going to be like, bro, I thought you were for Palestine, man. Well, they're getting beat to smithereens, and then you're like, you dumbass. All the Palestinians are Israelis. They're just Israelis with no rights at all. Hmm. Check right. and make. They're the, the bottom rung. They're like... Like the base of the pyramid. They're, they're non-citizens. They're there, but they don't exist. Like um, Juan and Pedro at the Home Depot. They were out there again this morning. Smoking weed. No, they do. Juan and Pedro do exist, you know. They're just undocumented. <laughs> yeah. Just because they don't have papers doesn't mean they don't exist. They got driver's licenses. Well, that's different. They're called liberal states. But anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so now, of course, there's like, oh, my God. I got you, Yona. Like, uh, who's the one guy? Um, shit, on rock pen. And he does. Oh, I don't know. Pen? I stopped messing Pen? with them. Not, is it? 
is it Tim Truth? Maybe it's Tim Truth. Okay. Anyways, um, he was on there and he used to do these long, long videos about, you know, the coronavirus or the vaccines or this or that in the other rock band. Um, and I made some comment and he labeled me right wing and uh, Trump conservative or something. And then, and then another comment about were you wearing a MAGA hat or something? I don't it, It's kind of bizarre. No, oh, yeah. Because I was making disparaging remarks about some of the uh, liberal madness. Um, and uh, anyways, of course, people stuck in the false two-party dichotomy mm-hmm. are just going to immediately think, you know, well, if you're trashing Biden, then you're sucking Trump's dick. Um, and it just blows their mind when you tell them, fuck Trump and fuck Biden. And in fact, uh, fuck them all and light it on fire. Um, but but do it in a protesting way so that it still won't matter. Um, but anyway, it's, um, shout out Bushnell and whoever that dude was, that last one. Um, uh, I don't know, it's it? kind of weird. I don't remember. Um, it was last I guess week. That's, uh, well, I guess but that's I guess it was thing. after... It was after our show, although I think we did talk about it on Friday night on Open Lines. I don't know how many times I've been at a party, and myself guilty of this, of getting the bonfire going outside with a gas can. And at first, when you're like, oh, it's because of the alcohol. That's what does it every time. Because you start out after one or two beers and you go over and it's not burning high enough or fast enough. And so you just trickle a little bit more gas on the end of one log and let the flames spread on out some more. Three, four more beers later, you grab the gas can. It's now about half empty and sloshing around. And you just sloppily slosh it out. And all of a sudden the flames start catch fire so fast that they climb up through the pouring gas and into the gas can almost. Um, and then sometimes into the gas can and the gas can explodes. Such fun hijinks mixing alcohol and open canisters of gasoline in an open fire. Um, right That's outside. like a, a normal Saturday night in yeah. West Virginia. What are you talking about? <laughs> Did you forget that I grew up from like 10 miles from the West Virginia border. I mean, I'm just like thinking back. I got yeah. people all up and down the, the eastern side of West Virginia. The whose houses country. I've partied at. It's just, man, it's like, there's like four different memories. In my That's mind. right. So, Recycle so Bin Laden says happening. when that happens, you just put it out with your hand. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Because, you know, at that point, after seven or eight beers, <laughs> you're not feeling any pain. No. Nah. You're good. You're good. Trust us, folks. We've got the scars to prove it. (laughs) Wow. Like, let me see. I've got one of the flame scars. I don't know. I hit everything I wanted to hit, and we still got 15 minutes left. So I don't know what we're going to do. There is clearly some discoloration. On the finger there. Oh, I thought that was because of the light source. It almost looks like a, a brown dot on my finger. And that's from putting out a cigarette. And I just went like that. And it didn't hurt. But that was after, that was maybe in halfway through the second 30 cube of beast ice. Beasties. Milwaukee did it, did it hurt the next day? Oh yeah, that's, it, you know I mean it's that's there because there was like a blister and yeah, it's the dumb shit you do when you're really fucked up. It was worth it though, man. It's crazy. I I think back to how much uh, beer and even there for a while hard liquor I've drank in my life and it was all kind of in a flurry 
And then now, whenever I get a beer, I might drink half of it in an hour. Yeah, depends on the beer. Just doesn't really. I don't know. It just doesn't really do anything for me. You know, if, if I'm going to drink something, it's got to taste really good. Now, if we're talking, you know, if you've got some like uh, yak. Uh, Romy Martin or, or Courvoisier or or better, better yet, Alice. Hey, let's talk. Hmm. What you doing there? You care if I get a drink? That's some tasty old shit. God damn. I didn't know we were going to go into endorsing alcoholism tonight. I didn't but, either. Uh, I didn't either. Because uh, <laughs> that's, that's typically not what we promote. But... <laughs> You know, at times in my life when I haven't had weed available, alcohol is a decent backup. And and I must admit, I do enjoy some bourbon. I enjoy it a little bit too much, if you know what I mean. And, you know, there's I, some mighty fine bourbons out there. My uh, surveying office with my business card and everything, Loretto, Kentucky. Kentucky Land Surveying Company, LLC. Um, again, another AKA alias, um, also known as. Um, and my survey office itself was about three quarters of a mile from the Maker's Mark Distillery in Loretto, Kentucky, where they dip all of the bottles in red right. wax. Hence my song. Um, Ceiling wax. Red wax. Yeah. Which, you know, I, I actually have a song about Maker's Mark. Bourbon. You know that, right? I think I know Red that. Wax. Yeah. Red Wax? Yeah. Is what it's, or Noville is the name of the song. Noville. But. And in the video, I feature the assembly line where they're actually dipping the bottles in the red wax. After the bottles are filled with that delicious brown, amber colored um, bourbon whiskey mm -hmm. that's been aged in charred white oak barrels it's those notes of vanilla and everything else mm. yeah. oh maker's mark Ooh. is pretty good it's not it, it's not my it, favorite it's, but it's, it's, it's pretty it's good all right um me i would probably recommend four roses four roses is good four roses is good i'm partial to bullet they're they're up there in Woodford County. Bullets right. made by the same folks as Jim Beam. Bullets made at Clermont Distillery. Really? Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a completely different uh drink than Jim Beam. Well well see, at Clermont where Jim Beam is distilled, Woodford, they make like Woodford Reserve is uh is a yeah. pretty good standby if you need a standby. And it was uh was it forty, fifty dollars uh, a bottle? And Woodford when I was County drinking regularly. Uh, Woodford County is um, right next to Lexington. Mm -hmm. Um, in fact, the Fayette Woodford County line is where the infamous Versailles Road Castle is, because Versailles is the courthouse county seat for. Woodford County, and of course, Woodford has those distilleries there. And then on the other side of the Kentucky River Gorge from Woodford Reserve Distillery on Route 62 is Tyrone, Kentucky, home to the Kickin' Chicken Wild Turkey Distillery. Oh. But of all the famous bourbon There's a bunch of stills there, down in that area. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the bourbon belt. From uh, yeah. from Versailles to Bardstown, and Bardstown, Kentucky, is the bourbon capital of planet Earth. There's like eight distilleries uh, mm -hmm. in Bardstown, most notably Heaven Hill, but then you got Jim Beam, and then Ancient Age, and on and on and on. Um, and of course, that's where I graduated high school, Bardstown High School, class of '92. Go Tigers! Um, good times, good times. Yeah, and uh, did not expect to be talking bourbon tonight. 
But I think was I'm uh, actually amazed I could remember half of those names because there's another ten or twenty that I can't remember right now. I was never high in high school. I like to sample. I really did. Buy a bottle just to just to try it out, see how good it is. And you know, it Spent was a actually a lot of money doing that. It was an, actually an accident how bourbon ended up being made. Real quick here. <clears throat> so we got time. We got uh, about eight minutes. <laughs> so there's this preacher that lives northeast of Lexington, Kentucky, by the name of Elijah Craig. And Elijah Craig puts his regular oh Elijah Craig that's whiskey. another good one yeah that hence the name um yeah. and he put his whiskey into barrels on flat boats to go down river from down the Kentucky River to the Ohio River to the Mississippi River all the way to uh Nolens or or Nolens um no, up here they would say going down Nolan Nolan N O L I N N Nolan or New Orleans, to say it properly, Nolans or Nolans. That's what they say down there too, Nolans, N A W L I N S, Nolans. Anyways, uh, one the flat boat caught fire, and it charred the barrels, and they saved the charred barrels. Well, when he finally popped the bunt which is the little piece in the side of the barrel that you take out so you can mm -hmm. sample it. And it. Pops the bun out of that side and taste it where it's been sloshed around and it got the, the charcoal came into contact with it over a long period of time. And because it's in a wood barrel and the, and the wood expands and contracts with the, the daytime and the nighttime and the temperature change and the humidity changes, it allows it to breathe, but it doesn't just all drip out. And that's part of the aging process of a whiskey. That's why, you know, you get like a, a green whiskey has only been aged like three years. You know, you get a good seven-year whiskey or 10-year whiskey. It's, you know, the longer it ages, the more chemicals have mixed, the more notes you get. A anyways, so back to bourbon. Long story short, Elijah Craig pops the bunt off this thing. He's like, oh, my God, this is great. And he's got his place there in Paris, Kentucky which is in Bourbon County, the adjoining county to the northeast of Fayette County, Lexington, Kentucky. So it became known as the Bourbon County Whiskey. And now they just call it Bourbon. But they named the county Bourbon County because the town of Paris was already there. And so they named it Bourbon because of the Bourbon dynasty. Le Bourbon in, in France. Pardon my French. Um, have a shot of Bourbon or Bourbon. I used to have so much fun going to the liquor store. You had no idea. Well, of course, I used to, I used to date a, uh, an employee of the liquor store. That's She's like, oh, I guess what for. we got in. Yeah. Patron. Yeah. Oh Maybe no, no, no. Patron. We got uh one year at Christmas. She brought home some pappy. Oh my god. That shit went quick. Like I don't I don't think it lasted a week. Ooh, I love me some amaretto too. That's some bomb shit. But we used to make the rattlesnake. You know what I'm saying? You got the Kahlua and the Baileys and the fucking creme de Oof. cow. Rattlesnake. Yeah, you were like, just looking um, to get fucked up. It's like chocolate milk that is just tastes like, like um. It's a proper suicide. Oh, there's nothing yeah. worse. Like I don't know why I tried eating raw eggs whole after downing a couple of rattlesnakes and chasing them with Tabasco sauce. Um, it was the, it was the alcohol. Again, keeping it you all think? alcohol. Um, and uh, God, it took days to get that fucking taste out of my mouth. Jesus Christ. So I, I haven't drank for quite some time. I I may have had two beers in the last two years. But don't worry, I make up for it in cannabis use constantly. 
So we're good. Yeah. Base yeah. Viz, uh, cause, uh, Lone Star Viz in the Rumble chat, he, uh, he said, Pappy Van Winkle, the good stuff. Yes, Viz, it was the good stuff. It's the stuff that you have to get on the waiting list to be uh-huh. able to buy. Because they're limited awesome. runs. Yeah. They're limited runs. I mean, same thing around here. If you want the good shine, you know, it, it don't matter how much money you got. You got I couldn't believe the first time I heard that. I was like, wait, wait, <laughs> what? You have to get on a list just to be able to buy the shit? And or she you got to like, know somebody. Yeah. yeah. Which, in our case, she knew somebody. That somebody was her boss, who was the manager of the store. That's where we get to the number one higher education lesson of tonight, folks. You can pay a college loan for the rest of your life and not really know anybody. Or get your skull cracked by a a stormtrooper. Boom. And and if you don't want to be cracked by a a stormtrooper, wave little Israeli flags. They'll be like a force field. They're not going to hit you when you've got your Zionist flags on. Because you're on the good side. You're rooting for the genocide. That's right. You'll be fine. Most important thing, fuck school. Get out there and network. I don't care what you study, 100-level course, 200-level course, post-grad. It's all bullshit. Doesn't fucking matter what you know. All that matters is who you know and who they know. And that's how you get your bottle of pappy. That's how you get the better job. That's how you get ahead in this world. Sad but true. It's all about who you know and who they know. Network, motherfucker. Yeah. And for all you youngins that don't know this, is if this is a news to you, again, get out your book and take fucking notes. There that's you go. Right. Figure it out. To find, to find out, out more, more, fuck around. I just I'll let you take that one. <laughs> right about to take the shot here. You go. I, I think that's when both players dunk the ball almost at the same time. Almost at the same time, but it's technically but, but a pass. Let, yeah. You let go of the ball at the last second. That's so right. Just my fingers touching it when it went through the hoop. Otherwise it'd be a technical foul and we don't get the two points. Yeah. Instead, you're going to the free throw line because it's an and one. And I get credit for the tip in, and you also get credit for an assist. Cause now you can take the- yeah, but technically we both win because the ref will still smack us both on the butt. That's right. But luckily you're wearing 1990s shorts where they go all the way down to the knees and not Oh, not the 1970s shorts. fucking uh, nut hammock? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Banana hammocks. <Yeah. laughs> Where if you were too tall, they they really didn't cover anything. Anyway. Oh wait, we did start two minutes late, so I guess all right. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We're we're coming right up on the top of the hour. All right, go ahead and turn on the seatbelt light. Yeah, we're about to to dump everything and and uh, be released back into the wild. I I think um, your co-pilot here, uh, ATC. uh, That's air traffic. Is telling us we're going to be landing on runway 5L. And I think Harrison Ford is that idiot in the Cessna down there in the middle. Oh, no. Well, I guess that's it. I'm not quite sure what happened. But, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, he's still there. Okay, you hit the good. wrong button. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay that's, okay that's thank god in the show <laughs> thank god uh he just pulled off onto the taxiway we just hit the ground and narrowly missed an on-ground plane collision like what happened in tokyo Oof. oh great. no Oof. so sayonara kioskete